Green Book is a poignant narrative that transcends the mere recounting of an unlikely friendship to delve into the heart of America's troubled racial past, presenting a story that is as much about self-discovery and mutual respect as it is about confronting and challenging societal norms. Set against the tumultuous backdrop of the 1960s, a time rife with segregation and discrimination, the film navigates the complex relationship between two men from diametrically opposed backgrounds, whose journey together sheds light on the pervasive racism of the era, while also highlighting the transformative power of empathy, understanding, and the human connection. The story begins in New York City, introducing us to Tony Vallelonga, known as Tony Lip, a bouncer at the Copacabana nightclub. With the club closed for renovations, Tony finds himself in need of work to support his family. Tony is not your typical protagonist. He's rough around the edges, known for his ability to solve problems with his fists rather than with words, and harbors the racial prejudices common to many of his era and upbringing. It's within this context that he's offered a job that seems entirely out of character, to serve as a driver and bodyguard for Dr. Don Shirley, a black pianist of extraordinary talent, embarking on a concert tour that would take him deep into the American South. Dr. Don Shirley is a figure of both immense talent and profound loneliness, residing in an apartment above Carnegie Hall that is as elegant as it is isolated, filled with artifacts that speak to a life of achievement, but also of separation from both the white world and the black community. Shirley's decision to tour the South is not taken lightly. He's fully aware of the dangers he will face but seems driven by a desire to confront them, to bring his music to those places where it is needed most, even as it puts him in peril. The Green Book, from which the film takes its name, plays a crucial role in their journey. It is a guide to those few establishments throughout the segregated South that were safe for African Americans, a testament to the era's harsh realities, but also a crucial tool for their survival. As Tony and Don embark on their tour, the stark differences between them are immediately apparent, not just in terms of race, but in temperament, education, and outlook on life. Tony's brash, unrefined demeanor clashes with Don's dignified, cultured approach, setting the stage for a journey filled with conflict, humor, and ultimately, mutual growth. Their travels expose them to the brutal truth of segregation, from the denial of basic amenities to outright violence. These experiences serve as a crucible, testing, and eventually strengthening the bond between the two men. Tony, witnessing the humiliations and dangers Don faces, begins to see beyond his own ingrained prejudices, while Don, in turn, finds in Tony a loyalty and simplicity that belies his rough exterior. The journey becomes as much about their inner transformations as it is about traversing the perilous landscapes of the South. Throughout their journey, the film deftly navigates moments of profound injustice and humanity. One of the most compelling aspects of Green Book is its ability to find warmth and humor in even the darkest situations without diminishing the gravity of the issues it addresses. The film captures the absurdity and tragedy of racism, but also the unexpected kindness and connections that can emerge between people, even in the most divided of times. As their journey progresses, Tony and Don confront not just the external challenges of a segregated America, but also the internal conflicts that shape their identities. Don struggles with his place in a world that often sees him as neither fully belonging to the white community nor accepted by the black community. Tony, faced with the direct consequences of racism, is forced to confront his own biases and ignorance, leading to a slow but significant transformation in his character. The climax of their journey is not marked by a dramatic confrontation with the systemic racism of the South, but rather by the realization of the deep bond they have formed. Their friendship, forged in the fires of their shared experiences, becomes a testament to the possibility of overcoming prejudice and finding common ground in the most unlikely of circumstances. The film concludes with Tony inviting Don to his home for Christmas, a gesture that symbolizes not just the acceptance of Don into Tony's family, but also Tony's own growth and acceptance of Don's world.
Green Book has been critiqued for its handling of complex racial themes, with some viewing it as an oversimplification or an embodiment of the white savior trope. However, the film's strength lies in its focus on the personal growth of its characters, the unlikely friendship that develops between them, and the nuanced way it addresses the capacity for change within individuals. The performances of Viggo Mortensen as Tony and Marishala Ali as Don Shirley are pivotal, bringing depth and authenticity to their roles that transcend the potential pitfalls of the narrative. In essence, Green Book is a story about the journey towards understanding and acceptance, both of others and of oneself. It highlights the transformative power of empathy and the unexpected friendships that can emerge between people from different worlds. Through the lens of Tony and Don's relationship, the film offers a hopeful but idealized vision of a path forward out of the darkness of prejudice and into a future where common humanity can bridge the deepest divides. Here we are. I got about an hour before showtime. Any questions? Where's the Please like and subscribe our channel to watch and enjoy superb that? TV sorry. shows and awesome. movie recap videos. One more thing, don't forget to share this video with your friends. See you soon in the next video. It's the last show. It's the bottom of the night. Tony. <laughs>